Hey, it's Alexander again. Um, a couple of you requested uh, a video on how to, I guess, really install an operating system onto an, a solid state that you might be installing onto a new Windows 8 computer, uh, upgrading from the traditional hard drive that they're usually installed in there, maybe putting an aftermarket solid state of whatever size you ended up choosing. Um, today, I just wanted to make a quick little video. This one's going to be very short. Um, really just how easy it is to actually get started with making a recovery flash drive uh, to reinstall your operating system when you put that solid state in the computer. Um, I'm on a, just a Windows 8 computer here. This one is not, this is an, not an OEM computer, so it's not built by any manufacturer. This is my custom built computer. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to explain the differences uh, here in a moment. So if you go into your search icons here on the this, this side, uh, bring it open into the charms menu and select the search charm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just type in recovery. And then the first option I'm getting right here at the top is create a recovery drive. So I'm going to click that option there. And then I'm going to get the prompt. Just go ahead and hit click yes. And then as it says here, uh, create a recovery drive, troubleshoot your PC. Uh, if your PC came with a recovery partition, which all new computers are, such as like an Asus laptop or HP, whatever, uh, you can create a recovery drive that you can use to uh, refresh or reset the PC. Basically, what it's saying there is you're going to use this drive to reinstall your operating system on your new solid state. Or maybe you decided to get a bigger hard drive, put it in the computer there. Same exact thing. Uh, this is the difference right here. On your laptop, you're going to see this checkbox right here, where my mouse cursor is in the middle there. Uh, this is going to be clickable, and you're going to want to check this box. Uh, that is going to make you make a recovery drive for your laptop. So when you do this reinstall on your computer, it's going to redo everything for you, but you will need to have that option checked. Uh, when you hit next, it's going to go through and tell you exactly, it's going to calculate how much space everything's going to take up. Mine's telling me I'm only going to need 256 megabytes. Very small little flash drive. Most of you are going to get a much bigger response, meaning most of you are going to end up with something like, I don't know, somewhere around 16 to 32 gigs that it's going to be telling you you're going to be needing that big of a flash drive. Um, but... They're very cheap. Just get your hands on any of them. It doesn't have to be USB 3.0. Just you can get a regular USB 2.0 flash drive. Just make sure that it fits the capacity. Uh, as it says there, everything on the drive will be deleted. It's not going to say, you know, I'll work around this if you have documents or something on there. It's going to delete everything. Uh, so make sure that you have nothing on there that you want to keep. Uh, as in, like I said, it's going to go ahead and erase everything. Just follow the process, keep going through the next prompts and such forth. Um, and then once you get into the end, it just let it run through the whole thing. It'll tell you when it's done, take the drive out, and then you can begin your installation of the SS, the solid state drive or whatever drive you're putting in there. Um, and then if you needed help with using, uh, do the installation on the Asus Q05 laptop, I'll go ahead and insert a link to that here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do another video here later on on how to actually install Windows uh, 8.1. Uh, should be the exact same when recovering from the flash drive, when reinstalling from that flash drive. Um, it might be a little bit different, but basically doing an OEM install of Windows 8.1. If anyone's doing that, I'll be doing an 8.1 Pro installation, which is the same as a regular installation. Uh, but I'll go ahead and post that video up here later on. And if I have already made the video by the time you're watching this, I'll go ahead and annotate um, that video uh, on the screen here in a moment where you can just click it on the middle of the YouTube video. Uh, thank you very much, and if you like this video as well as any other videos that I'm posting, please put a like just so I can know uh, what I'm doing right so far. And then feel free to leave any comments complimenting me on anything or giving me some, um, some actual feedback and telling me what I can maybe improve on. Thank you guys.